The judgment seat of Christ is something that every single Christian will be going to. And every, every single Christian needs to realize that this day will happen. And all of our works will be put up in front of Jesus Christ, in front of us. And everything that we did in the spirit will come through the fire. And everything that we did in the flesh will be burnt up. So all of our works are going to be put up in front of us. And they're all going to be burnt. So whatever comes through that fire, we're going to receive it as a reward. And whatever works don't come through the fire, they're all going to be burnt up. And we're going to suffer loss. So I'll read from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, starting with verse 11. And I'll read to verse 15. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. In verse 12 we see there's a distinction made with two two different types of rewards. You have gold, silver, precious stones, and then on the other side you have wood, hay, stubble. So the gold, silver, and precious stones are all the works that we did in the spirit, and these works will be rewarded by God. The wood, hay, and stubble are all the works that we did in the flesh by our own power, and all of these works that we did in our own power will be burnt up because they're irrelevant to God. We did it through our own strength instead of His. And we see that at that day, all of our works will be burnt up. And in uh, verse 14, whatever whatever's left in verse 14, um, that's, that you build upon the foundation, that's what you're going to receive as a reward. Uh, that comes through the fire and everything that's burnt up, you're going to suffer loss, which is what we see in verse 15. If any man's work shall be burnt, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so, yet so as by fire. So this, this fire here, this fire, the only thing that the fire is touching is the works. And it's going to purify the works. And it's going to see what type of works they, that, uh, the works that you did. So the works that you did through the power of God, they will abide and you will receive them as eternal rewards. But everything that you did in the flesh without the power of God will be burnt up. And this is something that we need to realize as Christians now that in our lives, everything that we do by our own strength, is completely irrelevant to God and we're losing rewards we're losing all the blessings in the future that God has planned for us and this is something that we need to see and realize and always uh, continuously check ourselves and examine ourselves whether we're in the faith and whether we're walking in the spirit because everything that we do or everything that we have done in the past or do in the future in the flesh is irrelevant and it's all going to be burnt up so we as Christians sometimes we think that we're doing good things for God but in reality, we're not doing good things because uh, if, if we're, we're not doing good things if they're done through our own strength. So sometimes you might, you might give to someone or you might be helping someone, but if you're not doing it by the power of God, and then that means you're doing it for the wrong reason because it's in the flesh. And everything, there is not one good thing in the flesh as Paul says in Romans 7. Um, and I will also like to read from uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 10 for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done whether it be good or bad so every single Christian is going to be at this judgment and it doesn't matter whether you did good bad uh, good works or bad works it doesn't matter those works have got nothing to do with your salvation they've only got to do with your reward in heaven and it's all based upon how well you yielded to God. So, so the rewards that you receive will all be uh, based on how well you chose to allow God and you yielded to Him and allowed His power and Him to work through you instead of you working yourself through your own flesh. And to finish off, I would like to read from Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. And behold, I, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. So here Jesus Christ is saying that he's going to be giving to every single man whatever their work shall be. 
So this is this is something that's important for us as Christians. We need to realize that this day is coming, the judgment seat of Christ, and whatever we did in our life, we only get one shot. We only get one shot at it. So we need to see this and view our lives now that uh, everything we do now is very important. And whatever whatever rewards we have, whatever blessings that God has given us and the responsibilities that we will have in the future, um, we need to realize that uh, they're all dependent on how we live our life now, whether we yield to God or we don't yield to Him. So let's, let us as Christians make sure that we're always walking in, in His Spirit and allowing Him to work through us so that He gets the glory and not us, and that in the future time, when the judgment seat of Christ happens, we're not ashamed before Him, uh, because we didn't do uh, as much as we could have for Him. Amen.